Now, earlier today, the president tweeted such respect for the people of Iran as they try to take back their corrupt government. Now, you will see great support from the United States at the appropriate time. Here with the reaction, former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., Fox News contributor John Bolton, and National Iranian Congress Senate Chairman, President of the Iranian Freedom Institute, Amir Fakhrova, is with us. Good to see you. And just as we don't have the time, like I did on radio today, to get into all your background. You're a student pushing for freedom and liberty. You were in prison in Iran mm -hmm. for nearly six years. Every bone in your body was broken. You were tortured. Tell everybody what happened. Um, uh, first of all, thank you for having me here. And this is a great opportunity to send a message of um, millions of young people in Iran who are chanting death to dictator and they're fighting death to the Ayatollah. Regime, death to Khamenei, death to Ayatollah. And no Allah Akbar chant at all. That means these are the right keys that the Americans and the international community should have focus on them and should help them because these are the people who can change the entire um, Middle East and entire world. If we can change the regime of Iran, then bring up the democratic and uh, free. Uh, that would mean radical Islamic mullahs that chant death to America, death to Israel, will not be married to nuclear weapons that they seek so desperately. Exactly. And um, if you realize the first question you asked about me, I don't want to talk about myself, honestly. The people can go and Google my name and then they can. Well, I think find it's important. About you were beaten. Me. You were. Exactly. I was you, every torture. bone in your body I was nearly was broken. For more than five years and three months and eight months of solitary confinement, and a lot of bones in my body have been broken. But right now, my classmates, my friends, they are in the street. They are chanting. They want a better future. Let me ask you. And you have helped organize what's happening today. You are in touch with them every day. How do you win a revolution without weapons when you have the, the Quds, the, the Revolutionary Guard, and the other military? Uh, first of all, let me uh, um, thank you for mentioning that. The regime is calling, I want to just say the exact quote, they are calling these protests as a spontaneous reaction to economic hardships. And this is coming from the regime. And that's very interesting because some medias here, they are exactly echoing this message. No, this is not correct. These kids in Iran, they right. planned for that. We planned for that because this is you, a revolution. Will this be successful? Revolution. Because, well, let me go to uh, Ambassador Bolton. Ambassador, you have been an advocate. I think we made such a big mistake, and, and I'm sure Amir agrees with me, uh, back in 2009. I don't know many, many revolutions that win, win with slingshots and baseball bats if people aren't armed, Ambassador. My fear is we will wake up to a massacre of a lot of these young students. That is a fear that I believe is quite legitimate, sadly. No, I think that's right. And I think, uh, you know, the United States has an obligation here. The president has been correct in his tweets about support. Uh, for the opposition. Uh, but we have, in our past, called out oppositions into the streets in Hungary and Eastern Europe in the 1950s, uh, in Iraq after the first Persian Gulf War, and then stood by while they were slaughtered. And I don't What should think we, we do? Well, I think we've got to go to the various uh, aspects of the opposition. This is a very complex phenomenon that's going on and see what we can do to help them. I think in the immediate near term, they need communications help inside Iran because the uh, government has been effective in shutting down or slowing down the Internet. I think they need finances so that they can uh, communicate better inside Iran. And ultimately, they may need assistance more than that. Now, the uh, opposition here in the United States, which is pretty fearsome, says, oh, my goodness, that would taint what's going on in Iran. You know, honestly, the people who know best what they need are the opposition figures inside Iran. If they're content to take American and other outside support, I think we should provide it to them. Amir, what would you like this president to do, and how, how is this going to be successful? Do you believe the military will turn on uh, Khamenei? Um, you know, um, my father um, was an Air Force Army officer. I'm coming from the military family, but traditional military in Iran. We know we not have the Quds forces, not a revolutionary, uh, revolutionary guard, which guard. their their uh, exterior uh, mm -hmm. um, uh, fraction is called Quds Force. This is two different military forces, and the 
um, traditional army, they have been with the people from the day. You believe one. they are today? They are today. We have seen several statements. What about the, the Revolutionary Guard? The Revolutionary Guard, the a body of Revolutionary Guard, right now they are turning their face on their commanders, but the commanders, we cannot uh, just uh, count on them. But um, as you asked uh, Ambassador John Bolton, I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to Ambassador Bolton because he was right all the time when it comes to Iran. He was on the right side of history. Thank you, Ambassador. And about thank what you. the United States can do, and specifically, the, yeah. specifically President Trump. Right now, the people in Iran, they are hungry. They love President Trump. They will love him more if he can do something to make sure we will have internet coverage all over Iran, satellite internet. This get the story the out. Get the videos out. out. Get exactly. the images out. And then How big is this? How this, many? This is huge. We are talking about millions of millions of people. Mm -hmm. They need it. They can be the army of the world to make world free from the small group of fanatic mullahs who are in power in Iran. I've got to run. Uh, wish you well uh, in your quest for freedom. Ambassador, always appreciate you being on. Thank you, sir. When we come back.